Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tenobune, episode 6. Today's guest is Piecraft. He's been a loyal viewer of mine, stand-up dude, and one of the first to apply for the for the show. I'm, finally, I'm glad to finally get a chance to talk to him. We are going to be farming relics <clears throat> and playing games while we talk to Mr. Piecraft. If you guys are in chat right now, make sure you post any questions you'd like to hear from Piecraft with the question tag. We're going to jump right into it. Let me select the relic. Alright, let's get him unmuted. Welcome, Piecraft. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Why don't you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? What do you do besides Twitch? Oh, let's see. Aside from Twitch, I just normally play games. Are you ready? just only recently that I actually got back into streaming. Oh, right on. And what made you get back into streaming? Opportunity. Because when I first started streaming, my computer wasn't that great, but it did its job. But then a couple of things happened, I had to move, and that put an end to streaming for a while. So up until about a month ago, got that ability to stream back, and here I am. Well, right on, dude. So before now, before this recent restart, right. how long did you stream before this race? You know what I mean? Like how long were you streaming before you had to stop? Whew. That was probably... About three to five months. Three to five months? Nice. And what made you start that? When you started streaming in the first place, what made you start? Well, that was something I really wanted to do. Because I saw these people like, Hey, I'm a YouTuber. Hey, I'm a streamer. Yeah, I can do that. Nice. And did you start st with streaming Warframe? I actually started with Warframe. Nice. So how long have you been playing Warframe in general? Not just uh, it's going on about two years now. Awesome. Now I'm going to ask for the viewers because I already know, but what's your favorite frame? Oberon. <laughs> Oberon. I mean, Oberon. You know this. I do know this. Now, why? What about Oberon makes you like him so much? Simply put, I can take care of myself and don't have to worry about anyone else. Okay. So you like his sustainability? Yeah. That's awesome, dude. And how was your, how was your reaction when uh, you heard that they were giving us Oberon Prime? That was a long-awaited dream come true. <laughs> and so you're happy with his rework and all of that? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. I mean, it's not what I would have put in myself. But it is a welcome change. So what would you have put in if you could change? If you went with, that, with that comment, what would you change? about him. Well, the things I would have changed have been pretty much fixed. The hallowed ground used to just roll out in a straight line like a red carpet. Mm -hmm. But they changed that to like a circle formation the more range you have with, with your powers. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I honestly have only learned about Oberon because of you, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, about streaming, what about streaming, uh, is, like, what's your favorite part about it? Like, what keeps you streaming every, every time you decide to go live? What about it do you enjoy the most? It's gonna sound greedy of me, but it's purely self-indulgent. <laughs> How so? <laughs> Elaborate a little bit more on that. Yes, it'd be nice if people actually showed up and said hi. But I just do it for me. It's like, yeah, I wanted to do this for a while, so now I can do it, so I do it. Awesome. Dude. So ideally, if your stream were to go in the direction that you would, would hope it would go, which way would that be? You want like a, um, thousands of viewers, a couple viewers? Like, do you want a community, or are you, you know, after partnership? What do you, what's your goal? 
Um, I don't know. After seeing all the Warframe community and how big it actually is, I wanted to see that all tied together. Um, I want to be a part of that. Awesome. Awesome. That's great to hear. And I'm happy to have you. Be, you are a part of it. Like You are now becoming a broadcaster of a part. It's a different kind of a different scope, but you, you are a part of this community no matter what. I mean, you hang in my chat every day that you can, and you're not having to sleep or something. So, I mean, that's a little, I don't know where else you go, or uh, if you have any other influences, I'd be happy to hear, like, about them, and what, what makes you go there. Um, yeah, I got a few people that I look into. Uh, one pretty poison. Oh, yeah. Yes, Cam, Cam's great. Mm-hmm. I peek in on her sometimes, and then there's a gay guy plays. Oh, yep. Which I used a couple of his videos to model my Oberon. Oh, nice. Once he got the rework going. Awesome. I, uh, actually, funny little tidbit about, uh, gay guy. He, uh, he and I were, he had raided, I think, Nyx, and I was sitting in chat talking, and he whispers to me, he's like, hey, what's the 707? I was like, oh, it's my area code. He's like, really? I was like, yeah, no way. And he's like, what city? And I told him where I was, where I grew up. And he's like, oh, no shit, my parents live in this town, which is like one town away. And I was like, that's where my parents live. Like, it was pretty wild. Like, our parents live in the same town. Like, and we're both Warframe partners. So that's actually how I met him. I've heard of him, but I've actually, like, gotten a chance to talk to him because of that. It was pretty funny. <clears throat> Alright, we had a question from Blue Skies. Opinion on DE's response to fan input. Ooh, that's a tough one. I don't know, I think it could be more constructive on the fan side. But there are a lot of them. Yes. I guess I myself would actually need to look more into it to see everybody's input. Yeah. I mean, you can't get just everybody's one page, but... But Yeah. But do you think that they do a good job? Yeah, I think they do a fairly good job for what they do. Okay. I mean, they're a company. They can only do so much within time. Yep. That's a good, that's a good way to look at it. So, and I pretty much agree with you. <clears throat> I think the fans themselves could probably um, be less critical and more appreciative of what they actually do. Um, I I played the shit out of Destiny, so I'm gonna reference it throughout any time that we I talk to anybody so much. But as a comparison, oh, yeah. um, Bungie has like a weekly update that is very vague, off every yeah. week, as opposed to DE who has four streams every week and are constantly talking about what they're working on and giving updates and and insights and stuff like that. Like, actually communicating with the community on, on a different level than I've ever seen in another game. So while it may not seem like a lot to some people here, if you go to another game for a little while, you might just realize um, exactly how much they do incorporate themselves into the community. Oh, yeah. Because I, I dipped a little bit into Destiny 2. Mm -hmm. And I liked the little updates they had every now and then, but it was the big updates that really kept me going in the game. Yes. Because when I picked it up, the first DLC was already out, and the second one was on the way. Uh, yeah, and in comparison to content, the, the frequency on Destiny is much lower than something like this. Oh, yeah. Because with Destiny, I, I don't know, I guess I must have fell in with the majority. I wasn't too impressed with the main campaign. Oh, yeah. The story of holes. Yeah. yeah. I agree with you. Now, on the flip side, I think Warframe could probably do a little bit more with uh, their, their, their stories. Their cinematic yeah. quests are absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. And some of the best I've seen in any game, free to play or not. And I wish there was more, either more of that or more, I don't know, 
immersion into the story. Yeah. That's what I want to. It's like more story, but more content is nice too. Yeah. Well, if they could make it so that it coincides with each other, you know, rather than a cinematic quest where you get four or five cutscenes, you take those four or five cutscenes and maybe make that, you know, after each, right before each boss or something, there's a small cinematic to kind of yeah. give their background and why you're actually killing them instead of just jumping in there. And we kind of get that, sort of. Sort of, But yeah. it's along the quest line instead mm -hmm. of right in front of the boss. Yeah. But not all of them have a quest line, right? Like just going. Not yet. No. So if you just go through the solar map and kill those bosses, not every single one's gonna give you something. So bosses like the sergeants. Yeah. Think, uh, like Krill. Like Krill. Uh, Alad B has a, a lead up to him. He's got a sort of story to him. Yeah. He's got more At story. Like is... the Mesa quest line gives him a lot of. Yeah. But that's more towards the future. Yeah. But what we're looking for is before that. Yeah. True, true. So, like, when you kill Fossa, maybe, you know, like, even, like, the first yeah. boss you face, like, I wish... Okay, so the way I look at it... Um, he... I wish there was, like, a, a storyline, like, the second dream in the very beginning of the game. Like, where it has a cinematic quest line, it has a depth to it that just draws players in. Because I notice a lot of the time when new players are coming into the game, they get lost. They don't know what they're doing. They're just punching out nodes and getting junctions, and they don't really get sucked in until the second dream, which is yeah, pretty far down the star map. Plot driving. Yeah, exactly. So, on that note, what would your advice be to someone who's just starting up day one Tenno? Day one Tenno. Let's see. Most importantly, if you don't want to keep your starting Warframe, I suggest... This is going to sound bad. Just keep it until you find that one Warframe that you really want. Because you only have three Warframe slots. And I juggled those slots for so long. That's great advice. That's very sound. What's your favorite part about the game? Customization. Mm, okay. Not um, so much like aesthetics, the color palettes, the helmets and all that. Not so much that. But it's the way the weapons can be built. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. That's that's great. So, you like how you can take a gun that you enjoy and make it dope in oh, some yeah. way. What's your favorite weapon in the game right now? I'm actually using it right now, the Sonicor. The Sonicor, really? Yeah. Is it because you can just ragdoll everybody? Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's more than that, too. Okay. Because... I don't know, the way I had it built before was more towards utility, just getting out as many shots as I could. Mm -hmm. Then one of my clan mates turned me on to just pure flat damage. Mm -hmm. and boy, was that beautiful. Okay. Because the enemies would just launch straight up. Based so on your damage? Or yeah. type? Well, the blast damage is what knocked them up and out and everywhere. Mm -hmm. But they had to die first in order to be launched like that. Oh, okay. Oh, that's interesting. That's that's great. <laughs> I'll have to I'll have to give that a shot. Mine just sits in the in the inventory, unfortunately. Sonicore, everybody! If you don't have a Sonicore, give it a try. Give it the old mm -hmm. pie treatment. Um, now, if somebody, do you have a Discord for yourself? No, no, not me personally. Okay. I usually join others, talk in their little hubs. Yeah. Well, make sure you guys go by his channel and uh, beg him to see his Sonic build. Yeah. <laughs> They're probably not gonna like it. <laughs> it's, all... it's got a ribbon on it. Oh, the ribbon. 
Speaking of ribbons, are you? What's your opinion on the melee ribbons being added? Ooh, it's going to be very difficult for melee ribbons because a lot of the melee builds do are very tight. So if there's going to be a melee ribbon, it has to be heavily centered on the criticals or something that can overtake spoiled strike. Okay. Not what about if you couldn't use it in conjunction with spoiled strike then? Is what you're saying? Wouldn't that I make it? I suppose you could, but ridiculous. You'd be risking a lot other things, a lot of other things. So like your status chance could be crud. Hmm. Gotcha. Gotcha. So that's your favorite part. What's your least favorite part? About Warframe. About the ribbons? About Warframe. About Warframe. Definitely all the plot holes. Because okay. I keep up with a lot of people. I hear their... I don't want to say judgments. I hear their comments. Like with, um... Who was it that you had last? Uh... Who's the last guy you interviewed? Is that me? I think so. We're, he wasn't critical about it, but he spoke truthfully about it. Yes. Yeah. And I can understand those aspects of the game not working out for them. But what I want to work towards is just making Warframe a generally more fun game. Well, you got the right attitude for it, dude. I definitely think you're going to be a, you could be a really good part of this community. And I hope that you continue to do what you're doing. Um, there was a couple of chat questions I wanted to get to. Let me see. That was a good one. Question. If you were to close out Warframe, was there another game that you would go to? Maybe not Destiny, because they're so close. Oh, let's see. Other games. There's... there's... Both have multiple primaries <laughs> even there. I suppose other games that I don't really play as much on stream would be Final Fantasy XIV. You rarely see that because that's more of a personal game. Okay. And Near Automata. Oh, Near. That's a fun game. I haven't played it yet, but I've been watch I watched a lot of it, and that looks like a lot of fun. How many times have you beaten that game? Uh, three times so far. Right. Got to get that last ending. Is there, and how do you do that? Is there a certain way you do it? Is it just how you play the game, or...? Um, for certain achievements, yes. But for actual endings to the game, it's more reliant on who you play as. Ah, uh, gotcha. Because there's, like, endings A through Z, which are found in weird and interesting ways. So there's 26 different endings? Yes. Awesome. But like the first five are sort of canon endings. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, there's another, let me see what else is there. There's another question a little bit up. Let me get to it. Oh, what got you into Warframe in the beginning? That was just pure curiosity. It's like, hey, I can stream now. What am I gonna stream? Oh, Warframe, free to play. It's probably not that great. Oh boy, it's fantastic. <laughs> that's yeah. That's pretty much my reaction with the game too. Like, oh, it's free. Oh shit, it's great. Um, in your short time streaming, have you had any uh, issues with trolls yet? Not a one. I mean, I've had a couple of bots jump and it's like, hey, get this, get that. It's like, yeah, whatever, go away. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. And then... But the few people that I've had actually jump in and say hi, they've been real nice. Yeah, the community here is pretty, pretty amazing. Pretty unique across Twitch. 
Uh, apparently, Tickles thinks I'm interviewing Keanu Reeves. Are you in the Matrix? I don't think it would have ended the way it did if I was. <laughs> uh, that's great. Well, man, I am at the end of my questions. And do you have any questions or a final statement you'd like to make before we, we widen this up? Um, what got you into Warframe? Oh, or, um, rather I should say what kept you in Warframe. Um, honestly, what kept me in Warframe was the grind. Um, before Destiny was out, I was playing Borderlands 2 a lot and grinding the shit out of that game. And then I kind of got bored um, because my friends stopped playing with me and I was looking for a game to try. I saw Warframe was free and I actually quit playing after two days. Like I hated the movement. And uh, I was like, this is punk, this feels weird, this isn't as cool as I thought it was going to be. And uh, I took a break, and then about a year later, Destiny was going through a dry spell. And my buddy was like, yo, do you have this game? And I was like, oh, I tried it, I didn't like it. He's like, oh, they totally reworked it, you should give it a shot. And this was right after um, Parkour 2.0, Parkour came out, basically. And uh, I got on, and being able to bolt, how fast the game is, and how, like, just being able to, to, I don't know, you're fucking, you have nunchucks. Like, the fact that I get fucking nunchucks, like, really, oh, yeah. like, I, the variety of weapons, the amount of farming that was needed to be done, how much fun it is to play with friends, it just, it kept me hooked. And then, um, you know, I used um, to be really, I'm a competitive play, like, I, I've all, before Warframe, I was pretty much just a PvP gamer. And then right. Destiny actually started getting me into raids and, and all that. And um, so when it came out with new content, I, I got sucked back into there. And um, that was right about the time that they changed Void Keys back to Relics. Yeah. Or, or not back to, but into Relics. And changed the star map. And things were locked that weren't supposed to be locked. And I got frustrated. I was like, you know, I don't even want to try to figure this out anymore. Destiny just came out with new stuff. So I took a break. And then about December, my friend Catman was like, yo, you got a PC now, you should try it on here, and I, I don't think I'm ever going to leave. <laughs> I'll play Destiny 2, but there's a whole new feeling to it now. I'm actually a part of Warframe, I feel. You know, I'm like into Warframe, rather than just yeah. playing Warframe. Well, especially now with being a Warframe partner and all that stuff, but this community, I actually gave it a shot, instead of just being a Destiny player that plays... Um, Warframe. I'm a Warframe player now. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's really just the people that have kept me here. There's so many great people in this community and directory, and that's why I'm doing this, because I want to meet you guys and hear what your stories are. And, uh, yo, do we got, we got an exceptional for, for that. All right, man. Well, it was a great conversation, dude, and uh, I look forward to seeing yeah. you grow. I'm going to come check you out more often. Because uh, you check me out so much. If you guys are in chat, make sure you hit exclamation point guest to find out where you can follow him at. Follow him on Twitch. Follow him on Twitter. Go check him out. Go say hi. Welcome in, into this directory and, and community. And show him the same respect that you would me. Uh, I appreciate you guys. And if you're on YouTube right now, make sure you subscribe to the channel to check out the next episode of 10 of You. If you'd like to be on 10 of You yourself, head on over into my Discord. Check out the 10 of You tab. Send me an email. Let's get you on here. Let's talk about streaming, talk about YouTubing, whatever you do. If you're a content creator in Destiny, not Destiny, Warframe, you call me. We'll, we'll get you on here. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Like and subscribe on YouTube. Come over to Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. Check us out daily from 2.30 Pacific time to about 4.45. And then with bonus night streams and weekends as much as possible. Thank you guys for watching. This is 10 of you, episode 6 of Mr. Piecraft. Have a great one. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I'll be here. <laughs>